Hello, my name is Megan Bell, and this video will discuss a few things to consider when you are evaluating and selecting journals to publish. This video will cover um, just making sure you're aware of selection tools, knowing the evaluation cr criteria you should use, and also knowing the tools that are available to help you evaluate journals. So in order to identify potential journals, you uh, first, one thing you can do is look to professional associations. You can also talk to experienced writers. Um, and then I'm going to go over how to follow a paper trail, what does that mean, and um, I'm going to talk about a few journal finding tools that are available. So um, you can go to the professional journals uh, within the genetic counseling field and um, see if they publish any magazines, uh, professional journals, newsletters, just depending on what type of manuscript you're trying to publish. So I'm going to look at the society, the National Society of Genetic Counselors. So here's their website. And from here, I'm looking for publications. So I go to the publications page. And it says that they produce, one thing they produce is called the Journal of Genetic Counseling. So that's something that I think could be a potential place that maybe I can publish. So at this point, I'm just kind of, I'm just putting together a list of places that maybe I can publish. I haven't decided yet, but I'm just gathering sources from different places. So another place you can look is you can ask some of your mentors and colleagues maybe where you can publish. And here are some questions you can ask them. Maybe ask them something about, hey, if you were an experienced writer and a beginning writer, uh, where would you publish? Or maybe they can, if they've read your manuscript, they may have an idea of where it can go. So that's just another place you can look to get some ideas. You can also think about you've already started your literature search. So when you look at the articles that you have found that are um, relevant to your topic, you can look at some of the journals where those articles were published. And that could also be some places that maybe you can publish. And then finally, they also have journal finding tools. All of these tools work basically the same. You put in your title, abstract, and sometimes maybe your reference list as well. And it will just kind of look at the keywords that are in your title and abstract. And it, it will suggest journals that may match your topic. So of course, you kind of, you know, just take it with a grain of salt, you just add that to your list. So at this point, you're just compiling a list of possible places, but we haven't yet evaluated these resources yet. So here are some more finding tools. So now, um, after you have your list, now you're working on evaluating the journals. And here are some things. Everything at the bottom in black, those are criteria you would use to evaluate the journals that you have in mind. And everything at the top uh, in the gold bar, those are places you would look to find the information. So when it comes to how familiar uh, you are or how familiar people in your field are with the journal, you talk to your colleagues and mentors. When it comes to things like speed, so in other words, how long will it take for from the time you submit the, the manuscript to the time it gets published, if, if it's accepted, or how long will the peer review process take? You will find information on the journal's website. If uh, there's a cost associated with it, and we're going to talk more about that later, but some publishing models, it will cost you as the author to publish. Um, you need to find an author guideline. So in other words, you need to know how does your manuscript need to be formatted, um, how do you need to submit it, um, just various things like that, just various um, instructions for you as the author, because that may determine whether you want to publish there or not. You will look for that also in the journal website. Their acceptance rates. Um, is it only maybe 90%? Is it 30%? 60%? Whatever. What's the probability that if you submit something, it's going to be accepted? And also, what types of articles do they accept? Do they only accept case studies? Do they only accept original research? Do they only accept commentaries? Do they only accept editorials? Whatever. There's gonna, their website will tell you what type of articles they accept. You can also look for the journal description. Um, there's a resource called Ulrich Serial Directory, and it can give you just a basic description of serials all over the world. And you can also find out where is this, R is this journal indexed. So in other words, if someone is looking 
when someone people are searching for articles, would they find yours? So in other words, where is that journal? Um, where is that journal located? Is it located in PubMed? Is it located in PsychInfo? Where would they find this particular journal? So you want to you want to be indexed as many places as possible because that increases the likelihood of someone actually finding the article you published. Also, peer review is is the journal peer reviewed. So you want to know have other experts in your field read? Do they do other experts in your field read articles submitted to this journal to kind of validate the research? And then finally, journal metrics. Um, it, it they it it um evaluates the impact or the prestige of the journal. So there's a scholarly conversation going on about there within your field and how much weight will people give to this particular journal. So that's only one metric and we're going to talk more about that later. So um, again, our, I mentioned Ulrich's periodical directory. Here's a kind of description of it. And now we're going to actually go there to evaluate the one journal. And the journal we're going to evaluate is the Journal of Genetic Counseling. Are we going to begin to evaluate it? So here's Ulrich's. That is a live link uh, from the PowerPoint. You can get directly to it. We do have access uh, to it through UAB. If you're off campus, again, you log in with your Blazor ID and password. And so I'm going to type in Journal of Genetic Counseling. And I click Search. So it gives me a list of possible matches. I look to the top. So here's the title of the journal. Here's the publisher. It says that it's currently active. It's published in the United States. Here's a unique number for the journal. And right here, this black, little black and white icon, that means that it's a peer reviewed journal. I'm going to select on this first one so I can get more information on this journal. So a few things I'm going to look at. So I hear I see a description of the of the journal. And I also see that it is a scholarly journal. I see again that it is peer reviewed, refereed means peer reviewed. I see how often it's published. And I'm going to go down to the indexing. So I mentioned that you want it to be published um, or you want it to be available in many different databases. And so here we see that it is available in multiple databases. So if you publish in this journal, many people will be able to find it. So next I'm going to go to the journal's website. So here's the journal's website. It's published by Wiley. And I'm going to click on Arthur Guidelines. So it may be in different places for different journals you won't you sometimes you may just have to kind of browse through the website to kind of find it but here's Arthur guidelines and so this gives me more information oh still thinking all right so here it gives me more information on the journal so for example I see more more detailed information on the scope of the journal but also I see what type of articles they publish. So they describe the different things that you could submit to them. I also see instructions on the format, uh, preparing the submission, the format that it needs to be in. It goes into detail about that. And the next thing I want to point out is the cost. So sometimes you may need to kind of click around to find this, but I've already found it, so I'm going to pull it up for you. There was a spreadsheet there, and we're going to talk more about this later, but this, well, I guess I should at least explain it to you. So I'm going to go down to all right, Arthur license, Licensing. So again, we're going to talk more about this in, in another video, but just know that there are different publishing models, and so Right here, you can choose to do the traditional publishing model, or you can choose to do something called open access. And if you do the open access model, then it will cost you money. It may cost you money to submit your article to this particular journal. And if you do, here's how much it will cost you. So let's see. So it will cost you $3,000 to publish an article if you choose to do the open access model to publish in this journal. So 
So as always, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to contact me.